Okay. We've got social distancing and that's really wrecked havoc on how we used to do learning and development. So now what? Now, the, the, as I see it, there's really two choices and which choice you take will probably depend on how mature the learning culture is at your firm and, and hence the poll. So interesting those results. Um, choice one is figure out which of your training courses are most important and get them converted to a virtual classroom as, as soon as possible. So, and you'll get some training, um, virtual of course, for your in-house trainers on how to deliver virtual training and maybe also hiring some external resources. So really it's just about a lift and shift into a virtual classroom. Choice two is to take a step back, which is kind of this pit stop analogy that, that Richard used to set up this session. Um, Again, you'd prioritize your courses and then you'd ask, well, why are we doing this particular course? What do we want from it? If this course is successful, what would we see that's different after the course is run? So everyone who stops and thinks about this, unless it's some kind of tick box compliance thing, says they want people doing things differently. They want, they talk about doing, not learning. That is, they, they want behavior change. They want that as the output from their course. They want people behaving in a way that means they can effectively execute the new and changed corporate strategy going forward. And they want an increase in operational efficiency. So these are the things that really should be driving what you're doing and how you're doing. So when you start to realize that a training course is not about learning, it's about behavior change, your thinking can, can make a little bit of a difference as you sit in that pit stop and consider what to do about that. So your original knee-jerk response of how can we deliver our training course remotely changes to how can we deliver behavior change remotely? So let's ask that question again. How can we deliver behavior change remotely? That's a very different starting point than where learning and development typically starts from. Now this will have a big impact on what you do with your training courses and how you design them for the future. You'll find, like most organizations I talk with, that the traditional face-to-face -face training course was never actually that good at creating behavior change reliably anyway. And switching to deliver it online typically only makes it worse at creating behavior change. Then you'll start to think about how behavior change happens and realize it is more about people doing things than about learning things. I mean, if a manager goes on a training course, you don't really care what they learned on the course, but you do care how effective they are as a manager after the course. So behavior change and habit formation following that behavior change is a process that takes time. It's not an event. In order to change behavior, people need to experiment and practice in a supported environment. Um, and the support in that environment will need to include things like some knowledge and information they can get access to, delivered in different ways and modalities, support from colleagues, and, and ideally, of course, support from a manager while they practice their new skills. So you start to realize as you are standing in your pit stop and reflecting that if the results you want from a training program are behavior change, then the program needs to span a period of time and include lots of activities and opportunities for practice. Now, a sequence of activities done over a period of time is a workflow. So in essence, you really have a workflow problem to solve, not a training course delivery problem to solve. So it's this refocus I'm really suggesting here. So your training redesign needs to focus on the sequence of activities that will produce the desired behavior change and how you need to present those activities so they will get done and that the behavior change workflow is successful when someone progresses through it. So at this point, we get into multi-channel blended delivery, facilitated online sessions, and even things like nudge theory and doing this within the choice within the restrictions imposed by social distancing. It's all possible and, and far more than we can get into right now in a couple of minutes. So the thing to remember is that it's not complicated, it's just a different way of thinking about training, which springs from your premise question, which remind me, is how can I deliver behavior change? So this different way of thinking will get pushed back from those who are wedded to the old school classroom approach. And that was the purpose of the poll today is to start giving you an idea of maybe aspirational or what's going on right now, or what do we, what would we like to be happening? How mature is your organization? And then how much is the organization gonna be prepared to think about that key point I mentioned? How can I deliver behavior change? And of course these days with social distancing, how can I deliver that remotely?